So in this video here, we're going to use the Stanford Dog Pose dataset. We're going to see how we can train a Autolytics YOLO 11 model through inference and also export it into different formats. So it's basically just a full pipeline for a post estimation model. Let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. I'm starting here on the website. We can go inside resources and docs. Then inside our data sets, we have tons of different data sets directly available out of the box. You can see a video about it here. Now let's scroll down to the post estimation data sets, tiger pose, hand key points. But we have this dog pose as well, which finds key points in different types of dogs. So two key points in the ears. We have one for the nose, one for the tongue. We have some joints here in the legs as well. If you can see here, we have training images, almost 7,000 training images, almost 2,000 test images. Then we can see we have 24 key points with three dimensions per key point. So X, Y, and visibility. The visibility key point here is actually like just like some kind of like confidence score. How visible is this key point? So again, we can exclude key points which are not that visible. These are some of the example images. We're gonna set up the pipeline in just a second, but the data YAML file here, is basically with the path, the training set, and also our validation split. We have the key points. We're just going to check docs, and this is the download URL to the data set. If it is not already downloaded, if it can't take any images, it's automatically going to download it. This is how we can use it. Some sample images. So let's spin up a Google Colab notebook. I'm just going to open up a Google Colab notebook from scratch. If we go inside the data set here, or let's just go in and pip install Autolytics first. So we create a new. Google, no Google Colab notebook from scratch. We have some free GPU resources in here for free. So right now, let's go up to runtime, change runtime type, let's choose an L4, and we can connect to it. First of all, we just need to go up and pip install Autolytics. It's the only thing, the rest will be taken care of automatically. Pip install Autolytics. While it's installing here, it takes 20, 30 seconds. Then we can go in here again, all different types of dogs can name all different types, but again, it's a lot of them and we get these different key points. So it's act like a pretty hard problem to solve and even like harder than just doing like human pose estimation, tiger pose and so on, because those are way more similar. So to train it, we can either use the Python script or the command line. You can use both of it. Right now, let's just go in and grab the command line tool. Inside a Google Colab notebook, we can just have an explanation mark. I'm going to paste in the code. That we're going to use the nano model. This is the post model. If you just want to do update detection, you can do that in this data set, but then you can just specify this. You can do classification, CLS, you can do segmentation, sec, and so on, OBB for iron bounding boxes. But right now, we're doing post. There we go. We specify how many epochs. Let's not, right now, let's just train it for 50 epochs, image size 640. This is the data game file that we need to pass into it. If it doesn't already have the data set, it's automatically going to download it into our folder on the left side here. So it should be done here in just a second, and then we don't need to do anything else. There we go. Let's run this command and see the results. So now it's going to download the data set, then it will start the training. We can see the whole training going on, and then after that, it's pretty much good to go. We can run some inference. We can see how it works after. So from the Autodex inference here, we can basically just go down. We can see we have these FAQs. If you go inside the task, this is the training mode that we're running now. You can use all models, all data sets, and so on in the exact same way. So this is the one that we grabbed. We can also go down and run prediction. So while it's doing that, let's go down and grab this one. So let's see, uh, predict sources, screenshot. This is all this different argument that it takes. We can even go in and grab the model now or the Python code to do the inference. So right now, return the lift with stream false. So this is the stuff that we need to run. There we go, we can run the Python script. So right now we could just train in a terminal. Now we can go down and grab this. We just need to swap out the model weights. So that's basically gonna be this model that I've downloaded. Swap it out here. It's gonna set up our post model. And then inside our data sets here, we can grab our a few images after and test it out. So we have dark pose. Let's go inside our validation set. So this is images that it hasn't seen before. Just take a second. We can copy the path. Let's just open this image here to see it. There we go. We have this 
dog. Might be a bit hard, but let's just try to throw it in as well. We can chest out a few examples. Let's just take one at a time instead of a list, but you can throw in a list, you can throw in a video, you can throw in whatever. Here we want to save the results so we can see it. So save equal to true. We can also set show equal to true if you want to show it, but right now we're just going to save it. Front results, we can extract all the key points, bounding boxes and all that. The model is just training up here at the top. It might take 20, 30 minutes. And we can see here that it's running. So we get our losses, we get our mean average positions and so on. After we have done the inference, we're going to go through a few examples, but then we can also go down and export the model. So you can use it in your own application and projects and basically just for optimized framework. So this is very good. If you want to convert to own an X tensor T if you're using NVIDIA hardware, open window for Intel hardware and so on. So all these optimized frameworks, they basically just speed up the models two, three times without really losing accuracy. So this is a custom train model that we're going to export to ONX. There we go. And inside our runs folder, we get this one. After each epoch, just close the data set now. So inside our run folder, we have our post, we have our train, and then we have our weight file in here. So we're going to have the best path. So this is the model that we need to swap out. So this is gonna be the custom trained model. And down here at the bottom, we all just need to swap out the path explanation mark this is how easy it is to set up i basically just did it from scratch going back and forth while explaining you can just click a few times with documentation on one side google colab notebook on the other side and then you can set it up in just a few minutes a few commands a few lines you can change it between python code command line tools you can also just use all in python all in command line tools it's pretty much up to you you can see it's at three epochs now um, let's see if it's going up. We can see the mean error positions are going up, so that's good. I think e for 50 epoch should be more than fine. It's just going to take some time. Here we export it to ONNX. We grab this image, we show it, this should be good. So let's now just wait until our model has trained and we can take a look at the results. So now we can see that our post model is almost done training. I even stopped that as well and just only trained it for 20 epochs because I'm gonna see that it actually like converts faster and it was actually like learning a lot of stuff already. Could train for more or basically just getting better accuracy and so on but we already have very good mean error position the mean error position 0.5 to 0.95 is still going up but we have a very good model already we can see how the losses are going down we can see how the mean error positions are increasing together with the recall and precision as well so we end up with a pretty good model here after 20 epochs if you want to run it we go inside our runs post train 2 and then we have our weights here. We can see the results, we can see our labels. This will be a validation batch with our labels or our labels and this is predictions. So this is models that it hasn't seen before or images it hasn't seen before. It's not perfect. It's also a very hard use case for a key point. So we definitely need to train it for longer. It should pretty much be even longer because here we see that this is our key point uh, object loss. We have our mean error position, it's just if we're able to take the dog or not. We have our labels, we have our results, results of PNG. Here we can see our laws going up, mean error positions are going up as well. Now we go, let's go down and use this model. Just create an instance of it as we went over. Now we grab an image example. This was the hard one. Let's try to see what results we get out. Now we have our predict folder where it will be saved into, and this is the results that we get out. So this acts like a pretty good example. It works pretty nice, even though that this looks like a pretty hard one. It pretty much detects almost the ears, at least on the right side. And we have the nose and the mouth. We also have some key points in the legs. Let's just grab one more image here. We're just going to take a random one. Validation, we have our images. Let's just scroll down, take a random one. This one, copy the path, and close the image. Just need to swap it out here. There we go, it's gonna run. 12 milliseconds inference. Now we need to close all this. We have runs. We have a predict. Now we get our predict two. There we go. This is also a very nice example. Correct here on the front, front legs. We have the ears, we have the nose and the mouth. So we can see that this is already a very good model, even though it hasn't fully converged yet. Now we can run inference, we've done the training, we run inference, and now we can go down and export it into ONNX. We just run this one here. I grabbed the wrong model. Let's 
inside my train too. Make sure that you have the correct path, especially if you're doing multiple training runs. There we go. It's gonna install ONX, export it into an ONX model, and then we should get it over here to the left. Instead of .pt, we will get .onnx. Let's see, we get our post train weights. So it runs, post, train two, and then we should have our weights. And now we should have both our best, but also our best.onnx file. So now we can just take this model, right click, hit download, use the manual applications and projects. This is how easy to set up post estimation, object detection, instance segmentation, anything with Autolytics. We just need to have our data set, train, inference, and export it. This is how to set up a whole computer vision pipeline, pretty much. Hope you learned a ton this video here. Definitely test it out on your own. You're going to learn a ton from just playing around with the data, playing around with the different tasks and pipelines and so on. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.